Islamic State has threatened to kill a second Japanese hostage and a Jordanian pilot being held by the group within 24 hours if their demands are not met. The group wants a prisoner swap for a failed female suicide bomber detained in Jordan. The Japanese government says it's doing all it can to bring Mr. Koto home. Uh, Jim young -gil has more. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe on Wednesday called a new video featuring the Japanese hostage Kenji Koto despicable and vowed to secure his release. It's a despicable act. I feel strong anger. I have put out an order that we work together as one on securing the release of Kenji Koto as soon as possible. The two-minute video, which was posted on YouTube on Tuesday, demands the release of Sajida Al-Rishawi, an Iraqi woman sentenced to death in Jordan for her involvement in a 2005 hotel terror attack. The video's narrator says any more delays by the Jordanian government to release the Iraqi suicide bomber will mean they'll be responsible for the death of their pilot. The Jordanian pilot was captured after his jet crashed in Syria last December during a bombing mission against the militants. The Japanese government has been asking for the Jordanian government's support for Koto's release. In a previous video uploaded on Saturday, a voice purported to be Koro's announced that Islamic State militants had executed fellow Japanese hostage Haruna Yukawa, who was seized in August. Koto is a freelance journalist who was taken hostage in Syria in October while trying to rescue Yukawa. Tim Young-gil, Arirang News.